Mike Trout here, and I'm working on trying to get this U.S. rain pipe uh, timer for the garden. So I've had some ideas. Now, the problem is, is this is a this is a standard nozzle, and Japan is a metric. So my way around that is by attaching this um, standard tubing, and also then using caulk or silicone around the side. Um, to basically seal it in there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is attach it to the end of this hose, but this hose is too small, so how am I going to make it bigger? Well, I have an idea. Now this is something I can't really be talking in the kitchen about. My wife's in there. But what I'm going to do is stick the end of this hose in there. So I got this nice and hot. Now, what I want to do is put it on this piece of tube in here. And once I have that, I'm golden. I got the end of my pliers in there. Ouch, it's hot. To uh, stretch it. All right, so we're get this. Mission accomplished. Now, what I want to do is cool it off into some ice. My uh, 800 watt inverter just came in, for which I'm thinking about actually changing. That's 3,000. I don't really need. Um, well, I may. This is 800 watts. Or I may use this one, in with the shed. Um, it should be enough to power stuff. The only thing is the IH heater I have is 1,000 watts. That's 3,000. So at least it can pull on that. Should I need it? This one, however. Probably not. However, here's a nice little bonus. I um, the styrofoam wrapping is what I've been looking for as a flotation device for my pump. <laughs> so now uh, it's a little bit high, so I got to cut it down a little bit. I want it to be a little bit deeper, but that's cool really quick so here it is my little flotation by device for my um, pump to sit on top of the water now what I can do is basically anchor it I'm using this, this tie um, you know for it so it's definitely under the water I could uh, take more and have it more under the water but I think that's fine as the pump's under the water, it's fine. And I can like um, put some plants and stuff uh, just by slicing a hole, pushing the plant in, some moss and other stuff to make it look like a little little place for frogs and stuff to crawl up on and sun themselves on and anchor it in the middle there. Just tie it to one of these rocks here and uh, we're good to go. Thanks for watching. My name is Mike Trout. I'm a hornet hunter. You may have seen me on Animal Planet. I'm also the creator of FoundUps. FoundUps is a selfless business model for helping to save our planet together. Basically, my goal is to show people you can be independent and make a living and not be a slave to some corporation and be free. Ultimately, we can grow our own food via permaculture. Um, we can make our own things via Internet of All Things and and we can establish homes that we share with one another and we can provide free housing, free food, free energy for the people, by the people. That's my vision. And here I am setting up the first found up house in Japan and invite you to come visit me and stay with me here um, and work on these kind of projects. Solving problems, growing our own fish, growing our own food, creating our own little businesses, becoming self-reliant, self-sufficient. That's the vision of FoundUps. Thanks for watching. Please visit FoundUps.com to learn more. Please consider supporting our crowdfunding campaign. Um, it's ongoing. It helps support the cost of me twiddling and doing these things. All the things that we do in FoundUps is open source to our members. You join FoundUps, 
it's like you getting access to all our IP, our franchise, our marketing, everything that you need to start your own business. You can do it under our banner and let's do it together.